like the meat that's used in there is from the unused patties that they have at the end of the day. They didn't go stale for a very, very, very long time. What's up everyone, how's it going? It's your Everyday Foodie here, Saravana, back with another mukbang. And today we have Wendy's. Out of all the places that I've done and redone over and over again, I don't think I've ever done Wendy's before, surprisingly. And I guess it's just a place that I normally don't eat at, so. Hey, might as well give it a try for the first time here on this channel. So what we have going on here is a little bit of assortment of things. We have the crispy chicken BLT over here. We have the double stack over here with some fries that I stuffed on the inside just to give it a little bit of better appearance. Got some fries right here and a four piece chicken nuggets right there. Everyone goes there and gets, I don't want to tip it too much, but we got some chili right here. But everyone talks about how great their chili is. But also sometimes they say like, oh, they're chili. Oh, we'll get into it later. Well, there's some story about the chili. And then we have a Frosty, of course, which are like a couple things here that are the very much so of the go-tos, I guess you could say, at uh, Wendy's. So without further ado, let's dig in. Here we have some of this hot chili seasoning. I'm not sure exactly what this is. We'll try it out. Like I said, I usually never eat at uh, Wendy's. I don't know why. I mean, it's a little bit away from my my place. Maybe that's why. Um, but if I'm ever craving like a burger or something, ooh, that's good. It's tangy. If I'm ever craving like a burger or whatever, my go-to is really McDonald's. And also I have In-N-Out near me, Five Guys. I have all these other places that are pretty dope. So here's that chili. Um, let's give that a try. I've never had their chili before. This is pretty good. It's the first time. Um, one thing with me and chili, I'm never a fan of it. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because of beans. I really don't care for them. But people love their chili. It's turned into like a little bit of a, a drink because it's melted by now, but still got some ice cream in there. Okay. Crispy chicken BLT. Let's try one of these <clears throat> chicken nuggets out with this creamy sriracha sauce. Not all that bad. And then this double stack that I've stuffed with <clears throat> french fries myself. Mm-hmm. That's good. You know, there's people that swear by McDonald's, swear by Burger King. But there's also people that swear by Wendy's. And I have to say, yeah, it feels like a little bit better quality. But at the end of the day, if I just want something quick to eat, like a quick burger, something cheap, uh, McDonald's is the way to go for me.
or in and out. And then you got the people that dunk their fries into the Frosties or Shakes. Which sounds like a crazy thing to do. And it's like, why would you ever do that? It's sweet and cold with something that's salty and warm. But it's just, it just that combination of sweet and salty once again. And it works. I don't know how the chocolate one is, but I love the vanilla one. So what I was going to say about their chili. So what I've heard or read or something of the sort is that their chili is like the meat that's used in there is from the unused patties that they have at the end of the day. So like at the end of the day, all the leftover patties that they did not use, instead of throwing them out, they crumble them up and they throw them and use them in the chili. I don't buy that just because when I'm looking at the bits of meat in here, you don't look like crumbled up bits and pieces of the burger patties. But that's one thing I've heard. It's probably a myth. I'm sure it is. But. Wow. <laughs> I think that's one reason as to why I've kind of been holding off from going to uh, Wendy's. is because of that. I mean... I think that I don't have to get the the chili. I can just not get the chili, but and part of me is like, if you're doing that to your chili, what are you doing to the rest of your food? You know. But hey. <clears throat> I'll take a fully cooked, properly cooked burger over that super rare pink burger I got from McDonald's any day. That was just horrifying. Oops. Like low key, not even low key, high key. I was just trying to keep it together, but I was disgusted when I saw that. But I powered through. I'm like, you know, maybe like it's meant to be a little bit pink. The more and more I ate, the pinker and pinker it got. So. I was like, all right, I've had enough of that. Mm. Their Frosties are so good. That was one thing I've had from there, from here before. Their Frosties. I'm not going to compare them to like McDonald's fries or Burger King or anything, but 
I have to say, I do appreciate seeing like the potato skin on there to kind of show that it's legit cut from potatoes. Every time I eat fries, I can't help but to think about, um, I don't know, I'm keeping going back to McDonald's, but, and we're having Wendy's. The, what was it? That documentary that guy did, Super Size Me. Let me know in the comments down below if you heard about that. But essentially what it is, is like, it's a documentary of this guy that eats McDonald's for every single meal of the day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for, I don't know how long he did. But, he ate that for every single meal for maybe like a month or so. And they wanted to see how it affects the body. Not just like, I mean, fast food in general, but McDonald's specifically for this, in this case. And it's crazy. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The premise of it was called Super Size Me. So back in the day, I don't think they have it anymore, but back in the day, they had the option of Super Size, which they had like, you know, the Super Size fries or drink and whatever, whatever it was, right? So when you order a meal, um, they would ask you after that, would you like to supersize that? I think that was called. And you had the option of saying yes or no to that, right? And so what his thing was, was that he would order, he would eat uh, McDonald's lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And only if he's asked, would you like to supersize that? He would, he would have to accept that supersized meal. If they didn't ask that, then he would just get whatever he ordered. And then it goes into all the politics and, and issues of, you know, like, fast food joints, how they're contributing to obesity, things like that, blah, 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 yada, yada. But this just reminded me of it because the whole thing I'm talking about is the fries, right? The fries that they have from McDonald's when left left out, you know, like open air and like a, they covered it in a glass container, but they did it with the experiment of like fresh, naturally cut fries versus the McDonald's fries, right? And um, when they did this, the McDonald's fries, I don't know how long exactly it lasted, but they didn't go stale for a very, very, very long time. Look it up. If you've seen that documentary, you know what I'm talking about. It's called Super Size Me. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. And look at the facts about the fries. As amazing as they are, this documentary like spooked me about the fries. However, I still eat them anyways. But it was like they weren't going bad. Like that might be see like a good thing. You might see that's a good thing, but also it's like if it's natural, it should have some type of expiry date or ingredients that will go stale mold after some time being left out like that. I'm pretty sure that's the documentary that they showed that. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild. So definitely check that out. Here I am eating Wendy's, talking about McDonald's, but it's ridiculous. It really is. I kind of want to do like a mukbang of um, comparison of all sorts of different fries. I think I'll do that. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. I would do like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, In N Out, Five Guys. Where else? I'm sorry, Wendy's? Wendy's will do. Jack in the Box. I like go to all the fast food places and just order fries. And just compare them, see how they are, you know? Because normally we just eat them separately, right? Like, we never have... If we're eating Burger King, we only have Burger King fries. You don't really go to, like, Burger King and then... I know, maybe some of you do, I don't know. But you don't really go to Burger King and then go to McDonald's and get their fries, you know? Oh, Chick-fil-A. This is essentially like drinkable at this point. Mm. Such, so refreshing to have this at the end of the day, especially when it's hot outside right now, like this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty then, well, that is it for today. That meal went down pretty easily. Ugh, I'm so hungry, or I was so hungry. Still kind of am. <laughs> so, but anyways, if you enjoyed this mukbang, please go down below and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel and have yet to subscribe, also go down below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified when we posting my next video. And with that, as always, I hope all of you are having a wonderful day and a beautiful week. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>